Hello everyone, we're getting back into the Alphabet Legacy, and then the next video is going to be the Joy of Life. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded either one of those, and I very much apologize. Um, if you saw my video that came out on the 8th about changes to Joy of Life, um, thank you for watching it, but yeah, things will change if you haven't, uh, I'll link it somewhere. Um, aside from that... Let's get into this. If my dog will shut the fuck up! <laughs> Sorry, I don't usually tell my dog to shut the fuck up, in case you were wondering. I don't usually. It's just... It's just he won't stop barking. And I... I can't get him to be quiet, so I'm sorry if you keep hearing him barking, because I can't get him to shut up. But no, I don't usually tell my dog to shut the fuck up. I apologize, you guys had to hear that. Okay, I guess I'll have to do this. Because everything hates me, apparently. Okay. Okay. So, real quick, we're gonna do a bit of game option adjustments. Um, no, we're not auto-aging our household, um, but unplayed households, yes, so that's something I wanted to do, um, gotta save, gotta constantly save, because otherwise, <laughs> bad things tend to happen to my sims. Okay. She's pregnant, if I remember correctly. But shut up, exception alert. I do not care. Trust me. I could not give less of a fuck right now. Uh, she's got a boy. She's pregnant with a boy. She's in her first trimester. Um... Aging is disabled. Um, okay. Alright. She is a mermaid. We knew that already, though. Uh, looks like you're getting hungry. Is there any leftovers? Yes, there is. Go get some leftovers. We're not doing neighborhood brawl. You can fuck off with that. Bro, you just fucking ate! What do you mean? Like, you literally just ate. Oh, that's why. You have glutton. Okay, well, your girlfriend's got work. Do you have work? Do you work at all? You do. Just not right now. Okay. I'm gonna speed things up. Because she's gotta go to work. Off she goes with her ugly ass work outfit. Oh, Sims. Um, you don't work until this evening. Do I have room anywhere for a bar? <laughs> the answer is no. I don't think I have room for a bar, but I do need to build the kids' room. The nursery area. Um, okay. What doors do we have in this house? Those doors. Okay. Okay, let's see... A a hello? Thank you. The fuck? What? 
Okay, we've got a bit of a nursery. So that's good. Let me click on one of these lights. That way it gets dark in there. Um, okay. Um, yeah, we don't have space for a bar, but maybe we don't even have a computer. And I can't afford a computer because I have $500. Um, maybe you can knit more until you gotta go to work. Because I don't really know what else to do here. Why aren't... Okay, I was like, why aren't you knitting? I mean, just tell the truth. Like, why... Yeah, why... Worry about it. When she gets home, she's definitely gonna have to, like... Yeah, her hydration is not great. Bro! Stop eating! Use the toilet! Jesus fucking Christ. This the bear on Plopsy. Okay. So he's got three things on Plopsy. Uh... I mean, he could do some jewelry making, but I don't know, I don't remember how much that, uh... Jewelry table is. Let's see. Well, it's not in this area, I don't think. Is it in creative? Oh god, too many things. Debug, why? Yes, yes, all of this stuff. Great. Wonderful. Um... Fucking Harry Potter wand? Okay. Wand of the Sylvan Forest. No, we can't afford the gemology table. We can get an easel. Do you want to learn how to paint? Because <laughs> we could do that for you. Oh god, that was a lot of money. Let's learn how to paint, shall we? So he's got to have three kids, and then I got to choose one of them to be the heir, and they'll have one kid. I might... Can I help you? Do I know you? I don't think I know you. I might get rid of Wonderful Whims as well, just mostly for my sanity. Um, that way I don't have to worry about, like, you know, pregnancy stuff. Are you gonna finish this before you have to go to work? No, you're not. Uh, you're gonna be late to work then. Oh god, who just got hit by lightning? Christopher Michelson. Okay, okay, okay. You're like half an hour late. Go to work. Okay, she's home. Quickly get inside so you don't get hit with lightning. Um... What is this outfit? Girl, what are you wearing? 
go go chill in the tub for a little bit. Your hydration's a little low. I was like, where is her tail? <laughs> Hydration is good. Use the toilet. Um, we're in... We're not in trimester two yet. Girl, why? Okay. I have played The Sims since Sims 1. Okay. In the older Sims games, The Sims did not take five years to do things why did why did like in sims 4 you've seen that they take forever to just do one thing it was not like that uh in um the older sims games it did not take 30 years for sims to do things in the older games i don't know why ea was like oh yeah this is fine let's have them take forever to do things like even just to walk like what what gives scrap the painting But I don't know. I don't know. Well, I was going to help her level up her logic skill, but we can't afford a chessboard. Or books, for that matter. So, um... Deal with it. <laughs> um... She's still... She's in her second trimester. Um... God, I really... Three days is generally short, but like when you're just sitting here doing nothing, it is so long. Like, nothing goes on in these fucking... Shut up, Nina. No one cares. Like I thought I thought I made it so that he hated her. No, they're still friends. Okay, we're gonna switch that. Negative a hundred. Now they hate each other, and maybe she'll stop calling. Cause I'm tired of her shit. Like, if ma'am, no one cares. No one cares about you and whatever, like... I thought I just... whatever. That did nothing. Why aren't you shaving? I'm saying shave your facial hair. What do you mean? And it's still- okay, I was like, it's still not doing anything. I sure has got work in an hour. Trimester 3 is in 11 hours. And I can't send her to the guy- to the obstetrician, so I don't know what's going on with that. 
But yeah, I mean, <laughs> I might, uh, I might need to do a bit of a mod clean out because. Sure. Look, he's got to go to work. Yeah, this this game is running a bit slow. Um, I might need to get rid of some mods and stuff. <laughs> because I'm tired of this not... Like, I'm tired of it lagging. I'm tired of a lot of things. We'll just say that. The thing is, I can't play without mods. So, like, I can't just, you know, get rid of all my mods. Because she'd look weird without all my mods. She'd look very strange without all my mods. She'd be bald, uh, well, maybe not bald, but her makeup, she wouldn't have any makeup, like... <coughs> yeah, I just, I might have to get rid of some mods, because things are a little rough. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what I could get rid of that wouldn't change things all that much. I like having RPO. I think I already got rid of the realistic childbirth mod. Uh, Ma'am, did you just shriek? Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what else I could get rid of without, like, basically ruining my game. Um, wonderful whims. I don't need wonderful whims in here. That's something that I would be fine with getting rid of. Um. In fact, be right back. Okay. I've deleted a few mods already. I don't think it's gonna make any fucking difference, but hey. Hurry, go to bed. Your boyfriend just got home. I don't care. Trust me. <laughs> Sorry, again. Come on, get leftovers, use the toilet, go to bed. Please, just for my goddamn sanity. No, we're not rummaging in the trash. Or pizza, I, I could do that, but not right now. She's up and ready. Are there any leftovers? Okay, I was like, are there any leftovers left? Huh. <sighs> I'll be honest with you, I don't know how simmers do it, because I I get so frustrated with the game half the time. Okay. 
Pay the bills since you're out here. Nope. No, we are not doing that. Good work. Like, <laughs> anytime my sims get very playful or even hysterical, I immediately am like, nope, we're not gonna have that. No, thank you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Especially because she's pregnant right now. Now, if she had already had the baby, then I'd be like, okay, maybe we'll do it just for, you know, reasons. Because I can. I don't know. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get your mixology skill leveled up, bro. We can't afford a bar. Unless you get some money by magic. Use shower. Get leftovers or putting your fun back up because I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here. I'm sorry. Like, this is literally what my gameplay always is is speeding through everything. I don't know. I guess because, like I said, I'm not a Sims storyteller. I prefer building and making sims over actually playing the game, I'll be honest with you. But I wanted to try and push myself to do at least one sim series. Of course, I ended up doing two thinking like, oh yeah, this will be fine. My dumbass. But yeah, like, I'm I'm not a Sims storyteller, and what I mean by that is a lot of Sims storytellers basically are like, Oh, um, sh she had a one-night stand and was kicked out of her parents' house because she got pregnant, and now she's got to make it on her own. And that's not a story. You know what I mean? That's not a full story. That is a plot point in a story. And like I said, maybe it's because I'm coming from it, coming from a point of view of like wanting to write novels and screenplays and stuff. But that's not a story. That's a plot point in an overall story. But that itself is not a story. And too many sim storytellers, that is what their full story is. Oh, she had a one night stand as a teenager, she got pregnant and she was kicked out so she has to live on her own. That could be a plot point, but it's not an overall story. An overall story is, um, <clears throat> like, let's say, from a fantasy perspective, oh, this person, no longer has their memories. So... They... Uh... Have to find a way to get their memories. Yes, that is a plot point, but that can be turned into an overall story. Because, like, you can start with that and then actually go to, like, they do this quest to get this part of their memory back and so on and so forth. With, like, oh, she's gotta make it on her own. You can't really... I, first of all, we... No, I switched this. Stop. Stop putting that back on. I, d I don't remove. Delete. Okay. Go away. You do not know her. You never knew her. But anyway, like, you can't really, like... Oh, she goes to work is the only other way, like, only way it can, like, 
a story can expand into like a plot point can expand into a story is oh she gets a job and even then that's just it that is all there's nothing else you can really do you know what i mean like and maybe it's because i am not a romance novel reader like maybe that's what most of the sim storytellers are is like oh they read you know romance novels or are interested in the romance genre and so that's how they come up with these ideas but like even then like if you wanted to do a story in sims it kind of has to stay relatively modern because of the way the clothes aren't like unless you want to download a whole bunch of custom content which be my guest because i do that too but it, like yes there's like werewolves and vampires and wizards and stuff but the thing about that is um it still has to be like modern fantasy it can't go into like medieval fantasy i can't go into medieval fantasy because the sims like unless you play sims medieval because like there's no way because like yeah you your sims could be all dressed up and the people brought into the storyline whatever that may be if you could even call some of this stuff a storyline is like they could all be dressed up and looking you know like they belong in a different time period but everyone else around them it's all gonna be modern clothes whereas with minecraft you can make custom skins and things like that and all of the characters can look like they're from medieval time period you know what i mean does that make sense anyway i'm gonna have her have this baby and then we're gonna end this here so ma'am i'm gonna need you to clean up plates because i don't think your boyfriend cleaned his up either <sighs> Come on, have this baby, have this baby. Yeah, I guess... I liked the older Sims games a lot better. Okay. She's finally gone into labor. Thank God. <laughs> I, Like I said, I don't know how Sims players do it. Like, the people who like have their entire channel built on Sims. I don't know how they do it, because I cannot... Like, I, my gameplay is just not... Like I said, I prefer building houses and making sims over actual gameplay at this point. Um... Brandon... Having dad's last name, Queen. All right, that's his last name, Queen. Yeah. Okay, the baby was put in there. <laughs> okay. Last thing. Before, yeah, you're a parent now. Do you want another baby? You want another baby? Great. I guess the next best thing is this. You've had a baby, you guys have been together for a while. And we're just gonna have them elope immediately because they're the shore. I guess. There it is. <laughs> okay. And now we're gonna switch your last name. Go in here. Modify household and cast. Uh, 
Marlene Quimba. Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. <laughs> that way every child she has will actually have the right last name. And I don't have to type queen every single time. Galbus. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Well, the child is awake. Uh, we're immediately aging this child up into an infant as well, because I'm not... <laughs> I'm not dealing with it. <clears throat> oh, dear lord. We've got some corrupted CC. Oh, buddy. Alright. Let me fix him up. Okay. <clears throat> She's had this baby. I've aged the kid up, so I don't have to deal with a newborn. And yeah, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell icon to get notified when I post. Sharing the video will be appreciated as well. I have a few links in the description that'll lead you to various websites i've got a throne wish list down there that will you know help me make better videos for you all um i've got a link to that also has acts that ha also has links to like all my social media and stuff and any music you happen to hear specifically at the end of the video uh that's from epidemic sound so thank you again and i'll see you all next time goodbye i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go